Welcome back, people of the internet. Today I'll be talking about a game that is very unheard of. This is Ziggurat. Don't go away. Ziggurat, developed by Milkstone Studios, is a very unknown game. But how unknown? Well, I was curious what the reviews were, so I went on Google, searched up Ziggurat PS4 reviews. And it says, do you want to be the first to write a review for this game? So that kind of answers my question. Now you might be thinking, how the hell did I find this game? Well, short story. Shorter, I wanted a game like Hexen for Nintendo 64 on the PS4. Hexen is an absolute masterpiece, and I really wanted something similar. So, like an average Joe, I searched up games like Hexen on PS4. And lo and behold, Ziggurat showed up. So what is Ziggurat? Okay, it's not a battle royale, it's not a multiplayer game, it's not a story game. The basic way to describe Ziggurat is, well, basically you fight through waves of enemies on randomly generated floors. Each floor has anywhere from 6 to 15 randomized rooms. To beat the floor, you have to find the boss room, defeat the boss, and you move on to the next floor. Beat all five floors and you win. Die anytime before that and you have to face the result of permadeath and restart the whole thing over. There's too many projectiles in here. There's a speed demon. There's these dudes spawning at 14. I'm dead on floor four, boys. That's all you do. And the game is still amazing, but it's because of how much variety there is. Let's take a look at the weapons. Arguably, this is the reason why I could see people would make it similar to Hexen. Well, sort of. There are 36 different weapons scattered throughout three categories. There's the spell, staff, and alchemy category. Now, you can only have one weapon per category per playthrough, which adds to the replayability of Ziggurat because every time you start the game, you'll always have your basic wand that every character gets, but you'll also get one of 36 randomized weapons. This is like the best staff in the game, I think. It, it's really, I would say definitely top three, but should I take it? Continuing the trend of randomized stuff in the game, you can get random perks every time you level up. 154 total perks. No, that's a lot of perks. Every time you kill an enemy, they drop some XP. The more you collect, the faster you level up. Every time you level up, you get a choice between two random perks. Let's keep buffing up my staff, but uh, uh ooh. This is great because it's almost impossible to have a class setup that's the same as the last as you'll always get a random generated map, random weapon, and when you're leveling up, you always get random perks. But the randomizer is not done yet. You'll also have in rooms where you're fighting up enemies. Anytime you enter, there's a chance of there being a combat modifier. This could be anything from increased damage on a category and decreased damage on the other, increased mana usage, decreased mana usage, big enemies, small enemies, there's really fun ones too, like I, I call it Nintendo 64 mode where the entire screen just goes pixelated, you have to fight through that. One of the hard ones I noticed is Dark Room, Any, it, like the whole room just completely goes dark, that's a really fun one. In short, after getting Platinum on Ziggurat, I still had combat modifiers that I didn't know existed. Now the actual in-game gameplay of Ziggurat is really fun, really fluid, after having the dedication to, like I said, Platinum the game. Right. Platinum it is. Don't die. That's it, boys. The thing I noticed the most is the movement is the best way to be able to be really good at this game. To be able to avoid projectiles while, you know, possibly still hitting your shots is really satisfying. And in short, the gameplay does resemble Hex in a bit. It's very satisfying and there's a high ceiling. It was fun, man. Presentation is a big category made up of two majorly sized uh, portions. Audio, visual. Audio wise, it's great. The sound effects for monsters are unique to each one. The sound effects in your weapon are great, especially when you actually take a look at them. Some of the designs on these weapons is absolutely magnificent. All right, excuse me. 
the music is awesome. Yes, the in-game battle music is, is pretty good, but I want to highlight two themes. When you're just running around rooms that you've already completed and maybe you're looking for a mystery wall or some crap, the ambient soundtracks are really nice. Let's see who I got. This should be pretty decently easy. I'm pretty sure all the stats, like the bonuses for damage, health speed, and stuff, don't count towards bosses. Sounds beautiful. The second soundtrack to highlight is one that highlights itself. You know, the music in Ziggurat is always behind either sound effects or something. It is very audible in game, but when you actually beat Floor 5 and you complete the game, the music just takes over the credits and uh, it's, it's really great. On the visual side, I can tell that Milkstone Studios did a really great job designing a lot of these guys. And it's not like, um, you know, I've seen Resident Evil 7 where the slime guys, they all look the same. It wasn't a great design. Enemy design is very underrated as it really makes this game even more unique. Uh, check out some of these designs. Take a look at these designs. This is from my live stream where I tried to go endless and I reached floor 9. I'll play about a minute of this and just bask in how great and unique these designs are and pay attention to small details in the side that I might I didn't even, not even notice until I went to this menu to look at the enemies. Banshee, one of the cooler designs. Slime. Like, if you actually pay, like, if if you look closely at some of the details and stuff, it's so sick. Screw these guys. Screw these guys. Screw those guys. 157 total spawns in the game. I swear a third of that was in this one endless run through. Ziggurat is not in my top 20, 25 games of all time. But I wouldn't be surprised if I made a list of my top 40 that it wouldn't be in there. I would expect it to be in that range of 40 to 25. It's really that good. Is Ziggurat a masterpiece? No. Because I think to be a masterpiece game, you have to be able to play to everyone's style. I don't think everyone would love this game. And there are two things I wish I would add to the game. Make it multiplayer. Sure, scale up the difficulty for, you know, having two people in the same room and twice as much firepower. Maybe add even more enemies uh, that, that could be in to increase the difficulty, but damn, wouldn't it be awesome to play Ziggurat multiplayer? My second point is a small one, but it involves stat tracking. The game actually does track a lot of stats, very small ones too, and you can occasionally see them while in a loading screen, and you know, that's the only place you can find them in the loading screen. It's very hard, isn't it? There's no such thing in this game as a stat menu or finding it in a records menu or a bonus features menu. And I don't understand why keep track of all these small, really interesting stats, but give the player no way to find them. So overall, if you break it all down and combine it all back up, presentation, overall impact, gameplay, you get a solid 9.7 out of 10, extremely high score for me, uh, which I think it very well deserves of it and I wish this game got more recognition. So that's it, Ziggurat is done. If there's any other games out there that are similar to this genre, let me know. 
and I do know that Ziggurat 2, I think, is in the beta or is currently out there. I don't currently have a great way to play it right now, but I'm definitely going to be looking into that. But for now, I'm your host, Stay Play Entertainment, and hope you enjoy this review. Peace. What the hell is this guy? This is crazy! Okay, seriously, what the fuck's going on here? This is the shittiest room to ever have this kind of garbage in. Okay, let me just go phase optic plan. That was an extremely tough room to suck in that time. This is crazy. The staff is absolute scavenge. At least I can... No! My arch nemesis! Are... No, they're all arch nemesis! Oh. Thank you for sticking around until the end of the video. If you want to support my channel, make sure to like and subscribe for future videos. I cover all areas of entertainment, from books to movies, TV shows and games, all of the above. And if you're really dedicated, I do have my Patreon links in the description. Anything that's donated to my channel in any way necessary, half of it is going back to charity because it's the least I can do. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and have a great day. Peace.